Hello there. In this video, we're going to talk about two different types of concepts and also what they mean together in terms of random variables being independent and also identically distributed. So let us first off start off with an example uh, that you should be familiar with already. Uh, suppose you flip a fair coin that could either result in either heads or tails and also a fair six-sided dice, namely numbered from one to all the way down to six. So let us first uh, pretty much map out what we have going on here. I'm going to define x to be the variable that determines what you get on your fair coin. So x is going to be my fair coin result. I'm going to define x to be equal to 0 if I get a heads. I'm going to define 1 to be a tails. And I'm also going to define y to be the variable that represents the outcome on the six-sided dice. So what do I have here? So if I graph the value of x and p of x, so what is the probability of getting a hits? So that's going to be the probability of 0. And what is the probability of 1? That's going to be the probability of getting a tails. So as we already know, both of them are equally likely, both having a probability of 1 half. And also, let us look at the value of y, and then the probability of y. And of course, the values of our six set of die is going to range from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And as we already know, those values are also equally distributed, unless we know otherwise, each with a probability of 1, 6. So both are uniform uh, random variables for sure, right? So with that being said, one can then ask the question, what is the probability of getting the event, let us assume, heads on the coin and four on the dice? So these variables are going to be independent of one another unless they're tied to each other or automated in a technological sort of way. So it doesn't really matter what the value on the other is when you're talking about the probability with respect to one. So these events, x and y, are what we call independent variables. So x and y are independent. And I'll go into detail exactly how to prove that in a minute. So what does that mean? So if they are independent, we already know a property for that. So what is the probability that x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 4? So if that's true, then that means we can multiply the probabilities for 0 and the probabilities for 4 together. And here, this is the distribution associated with variable x, and this is the distribution associated with variable y. So, of course, the probability of getting a 0 with respect to x is going to be equal to 1 half, and the probability of getting a 4 with respect to y is going to be 1 sixth. And hence, the probability of getting a 0 or a 4 is going to be 1 twelfth. And that's, of course, coming from the properties of independent variables. So, one can then come up with this definition. So, random variables... x, y are independent, or let's first off say uh, they have probability mass functions p, x, and p, y are called independent, independent, if the probability of x and y is equal to the probability with respect to x of x 
times the probability of y with respect to y. And this is for all pairings x, y. Because it is sometimes possible that maybe the heads could be associated or dependent on the value of the dice, whereas the tails do not. Um, and maybe in the future we'll talk about some um, odd details or examples of that. Uh, but the probability has to satisfy this uh, trivial property for all values x and y that are possible for the random variables. And that's what we call uh, independent, and some people even call them uh, mutually independent. So let us give a, another definition. So if x and y are random variables with PMFs, px and py then if px is equal to py then x and y are said to be identically distributed Now, just because the probability mass functions are equal does not mean the random variables themselves are equal. So make sure you uh, understand that distinction. Uh, let me give an example here. Uh, suppose you roll two uh, six-sided uh, dice again. Uh, let us assume uh, the first one uh, looks as so. Let's assume one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And let us assume they're all equally likely with probability one, six. So that's not X, that's going to be P of X. And let's define the second dice to have the following distribution. So again, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, let us assume that 1 and 6 are more likely to occur uh, than the other two values. And what would make that true? So that would, could be 1 fourth and that could be 1 eighth. All right, so uh, what is going on here? So this is what we usually call a fair dice. And this is usually what we call a uh, weighted dice if it's weighted physically to increase the odds of one another. So of course uh, these two PMFs, PX does not equal PY, um, and that has to be for all pairings XY. Of course, um, you know, none of these values are equal of course, so you can't say sometimes it's equal, sometimes they're not, but none of them are equal uh, regardless. So if that is the case, then that means X and Y are not identically distributed. So an example of ones that could be identically distributed are, for example, um, let us assume this distribution and this distribution. So I said, but one, two, three, one, two, three, and let us assume that's uh, something, say one. And that's also one. So if this is the case, so if that's x and that's px, this is py and that's y, then these values would be uh, identically distributed. Uh, but of course, it doesn't mean that these values are equal because this could be coin one, this could be coin two, so uh, or dice one, dice two dice one, dice two, uh, but this could be red and this could be a blue colored dice, uh, for example. So of course these, va these variables, x and y are not equal, but px and py are equal. So that's what we call identically uh, distributed. And of course, finally, uh, we give this last definition that pretty much clumps both of these concepts together. So if X and Y 
are random variables that are both independent and identically distributed. We will just refer to them as what we call IID random variables, where I stands for independence and ID stands for identically distributed. So if two random variables are both independent and of course identically distributed, we call them IID random variables. Of course, nothing really new here in this video, just a bit of terminology um, that would become useful. And of course, this is not always the case that two random variables are independent, nonetheless identically distributed, but if they are, usually you can do a lot of uh, shortcut properties between the two variables and their PMFs.